Shortly, I want to talk to you. Um, my thought with deeply lays in my heart, risk for the sake of better or best. Risk for the sake of better. Risk always has elements of danger or to be disappoint, disappointed. And uh, it, it is, it is good to have such a place as a church when we can hear encouragement and uh, enough information and base uh, where risk can be justifiable. Because between a common average mediocrity and better or best, there is space. And that space, not sometimes or even always, that space is um, not normal. It looks like sometimes we clearly can see better for our life or best for our la uh, life, but try to reach it, accomplish it, we push our, our, ourselves uh, hardly, and we cannot reach it, achieve it. There is two words, uh, two worlds exist. God, God's world and demonic, satanic world. Uh, looks like these, these two wor worlds are opposite, but, but principles, how satanic, dark forces operate, often they, they, are, they are common, too close. And sometimes Christian, through the, through the um, many information around, they clearly discover how witchcraft works, uh, occult world works. And uh, knowing, knowing these principles, this uh, te technique, we scare to go forward, to discover deeper, have this gap can can be can be can be br broken H how we can go over because looks like principles technique these secrets how spiritual world operate sometimes so close same i want to say for for us that God's world and demonic world, not demonic, because devil doesn't have his world. He does not create anything. He just operate on the opposite against us in God's world. And he used God's principles. Some, sometimes people of this world are smarter as, as people of light that the Bible tells us. And uh, it's right to understand that magicians in Egypt, they practice a lot things, but, but concentrating, concentrating on their practicing and stop ourselves to claim for better, for freedom, for nicer, for, for wealth, for, 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 for uh, health, uh, for blessing. Because it because looks like principle uh, somewhere are same. But when Moses came to Egypt, he did not afraid to apply same principle and overcome and go forward, forward and higher. We have to discover for ourselves that 
gap between average and better, mediocre, mediocrity and best, that's gap space filled with, with uh, invisible entities, personalities, invisible as Louis te testified just, just over here. We have to be wise enough, enough to discover, not be lazy, blind, just, just satisfy ourselves with the small things when we create it for, for, for big things. Bet, between, uh, between average and better, best, there is always a risk. There is always a risk. When, when Joseph in his life grew up in a big family and great dream, big dream, it's acceptable for each of us. We like to dream sometimes for a while and when one dream doesn't ca uh, came to pass another and, and third one and another one. Later we stopped dream for, for, for better. But in life of Joseph was an opposite. When he received dream for his personal life from God, it, it is God's will to dream about yourself for better, for best. It's not deception from devil. It is God's will for your better, for your best. But there is, there is risk. There is step which you have to take. And this step really often leads you out of, of common people, average. And that's happened in the life of Joseph. It's big family. That can be your friends, your family, your relatives, company, where you are. And your dream, your better, your best lays beyond that that's, uh, surrounding. Surrounding. And you stay before the risk. Are, are you ready to, to, to make this, this step out of this uh, corrupt, maybe average company or not? In the life of Joseph, for him it's it, it was cast a lot. His father, his mother, brothers, but, but concentrating on his dream, he couldn't achieve inside this company. There is no way. Is usually your better, your be best lays beyond your company, your friends. And you have to make choice. You will take that step toward your better, your best, or you will stay on this av av average surrounding. And Joseph took this, that step. In the life of Israelites, when they were in slavery in Egypt, that slavery was long long time and to be free to have houses vineyards to have blessing milk and honey that was really great dream but risk was so big I want to talk to you about your better and your best for your life and based 
for making that step of risk. As a spiritual uh, entities, we as a human, we know supernatural God that we have spirit of life from God. It is right for us to claim for best and have a base which can, sh um, can bring for us confirmation of weariness, confidence. confidence. When God sent Moses to Egypt to free great nation, Moses knew that's really big risk. It's danger there. But, but Moses was looking for, for confirmation where his uh, risk can be based. And when God showed for, for him supernatural confirmation, when God Prove himself, his supernatural ability, supernatural power. It's unbelievable to, to do on a, such, a, such a risk, such a journey. One person somewhere from wilderness to come in great empire, as uh, uh, empire is right, as Egypt, and free whole nation without army, weapon, anything. That's the great risk there. But that risk, risk was based on God's, God's uh, proven. God proved himself as a mighty God. God showed himself as supernatural power. Today, when you claim for your better, when you claim for your best in your life, to claim it's God's will because, because through your better, through your best life on earth, name of God glorifies. Your life attracts attention of many people. You present an alternative for those who are perish. When I come, and many of you come every morning for prayer over here, five in the morning, what encouraged me to continue to pray? I, I bring in my remembrance uh, tens of you, even hundreds, who will be dead today because of drugs, that's, that's Brian was few times already dead, but today he possessed this car and his family here and many of you, and including me. If not God's forgiveness, salvation, many of you, and including me, we will be dead today. And to go on a such a risk in prayer, we, we just uh, recently talked about next crusade, Race to Deliver. It's a really big arena. Long ago, that arena, Toyota Center, wasn't rented by, by churches and Christians. And we, as a small, really small church, claimed it after a few months to pack that, uh, that century. It, it is risk over here. But, but if we will not stretch ourselves, if we will not take, if we will not take that goal, if we will not um, claim that arena, we will never stretch ourselves. We will not we, we, we will not search, use everything. 
claiming for such an arena, stretching ourselves, we will discover in ourselves such a talents, ability, which will be never discovered if you will not go on, the, on, the, on that journey. Moses, he will never discover such a great God, miracles, signs, and wonders, so power, deliverance, healings. He will never discover such big abundance if he will not go on a such risk. Yes. Yeah. But that risk, that wasn't just imagination. It was based on a God's uh, proven manifestation of his power. It's so, impart, it's so important that your race, that, that your risk ha, ha, uh, has foundation. Foundation is communion with God's power, with the Holy Spirit, walking with the Holy Spirit. All things is possible with Jesus Christ. And, and when Moses took that risk, he proved all these signs, supernatural, miracle, unimaginable, unimaginable miracle happened. It's unrepeatable through the whole history. Men who trust his life, his will, to God Almighty, prove himself as a faithful and brought deliverance for whole nation. That's great miracle. Bet between your average and your better and your best, there is risk. If you will not stay, if you will not step toward it, if you will not make decision, if you will not make that that's risk, you will never, never achieve. You will be mediocre. But praise God for your life, for everything. But God will be more glorified through your better or best. And you have to do not only for yourself to claim for bigger house, more expensive car, uh, car, not only your personal pleasure, but for the glory of God. Because if you drive on a, on a broken car, that's not much glory for God if your neighbor watch you. But if your home, your family, your marriage, your finances, your business, your everything in order, in glory, People want, want to see such a, and have, have relationship. That's, that's so important. That you always in your heart, for the sake of your Savior, of your God, to present him on this earth, want for yourself better, best, claim, and do this risk with God. Live your life that your risk will be justified. Justified. It will be justified. Is it right, I say? It will be justified when you find enough evidence in your life. It was risk for David to go on a battle with, with uh, Goliath. But his risk was based on... Uh, on the many events when God showed himself faithful in your life it's so important that you follow the miracles of God do not live day when you here and there internet full today uh, proofs evidence that God showed himself faithful Claim this, that's miracle for yourself. Base your risk, your claim for better, on evidence of God's faithfulness. 
That's lady in the life of Jesus who was bleeding 12 years. She tried in her life everything, but in the end, she found Messiah who created a lot of miracles and despised all doctors who, who tried to help her. She put her her risk uh, she put her race a risk on the evidence that Jesus healed healed there help there resurrect there open eyes there and she accumulate a lot of evidence and she turned aside whole her thrice before and she make her last but right risk. I will sneak among the, these people and try to touch her, his garment. And I, I will be healed. Do not despise, reject, push away your better, your best. It's for you. There is risk, find base for your risk, and your risk will bring you to your best. God will justify it, God will help you. Right now, as a David, on his way, there is, was, was Goliath. Slavery, poverty, on his way, there is was sickness, any Goliath. It was great risk. His own family reject him. A king, king does not recognize him. It was big risk, uncomparable size. But David found a right, a right base for his risk. When we do these conferences, crusades, when we pray right now for next crusade, when we pray for thousands locally and millions globally, it's risk. But what we do we turn ourselves toward the miracles of God. People, prophets, as Shepherd Bushiri, T.B. Joshua, John Chi, when miracles happen on a daily basis, and we lay foundation, that our risk will be justifiable. justifiable. Your miracle today requires risk but it's possible you are here because you have evidence if God did for, for there there for her for him for her for him you accumulate a lot of evidence for you for yourself and looks that's a risk but when David came on this field of battle that's risk brought great victory your race today will bring for you healing deliverance salvation healings blessing and breakthrough in the name of Jesus <laughs> hallelujah reject life of mediocrity just great color nothing in your life moves make this step maybe it will require for you to leave your company and cling to these places where miracles signs and wonders where manifestation of the holy spirit that will be base for your answer your better and your best is about to come over here right now in Jesus name hallelujah